Hey guys, this is Richard from Wild Stack. Right, this is my next video for you. This is... Does your head get cold in the winter? Does your head freeze in the winter cold? Wow. Go buy an eTechnics baseball cap on eTechnics.com. I will leave a link in the description. Right, so this is your first tip. Always read your mailable manual because your mailable manual has a lot of information that you might need as a beginner. So, let's read. Right, so one, it will show you how to install a cooler. Now this does, this particular motherboard does for Intel and AMD. So it does it for socket, AM4, uh, LGA for Intel, it also shows you how to install a motherboard, it tells you what standoffs to use, it also tells you which screw points to do in first, it tells you about your cables, as well as there's a lot of BIOS information inside your motherboard manual, it tells you how to get into your BIOS, it tells you how to set XMP, it tells you how to do your overclocking, if you buy an overclocking optimized motherboard, usually with the manuals, they do give you a lot of information, especially if you're a first time builder. And just to say, you built, you just bought a pre built. Well, a pre built is usually already done for you, but if you want extra information, the manual is always the best place to go. So that's number one. Number two tip always check your power supply cables. Now, the amount of times I've read on Facebook, Twitter, Insta, about people's systems not booting up, well, it's normally due to people not plugging in their power supply cables correctly. Now, if you've got a module, module, modular power supply, then you've got to check the two points. One would be at the back of your of your power supply itself because it has a little chipboard at the back so where you can plug it in and then it's where you plug it into your motherboard and your graph card and all that type of stuff well if you haven't got a modular power supply usually it's just sometimes well human error best thing for me to just suggest to suggest is double check your cables soup before you power up anything okay number three Always try and choose which C which CPU or motherboard you're going to be going for, which platform. Now there is AMD and Intel. AMD is the hottest at the moment because they offer the most uh, cores as well as threads for the money. Intel used to be, but they also got the higher um, they've also got the higher frames, uh, the higher clocks for gaming for certain games like CSGO and stuff like that, but that's a good tip. Always check which which motherboard and which CPU you're gonna go with. Four, always make sure that the parts you're picking are all compatible. Now, this is the problem when you do a DIY uh, build yourself, is sometimes it does get confusing with the amount of parts and solutions you can buy out there now if you're buying a pre-built then you don't have to worry about that but this video is specifically for that first time builder that wants to build their own to say that i built this with my hands well one always check compatibility because remember am3 processors will not fit in an am4 motherboard like with an lga motherboard is uh a 1055 uh 1155 and then you've got 266 those type of ones you've got to make sure that the processor itself matches the motherboard now like a 3600 will fit in a b450 b550 um well basically any ryzen based motherboords up till now will fit will fit any ryzen cpus you will obviously have to update the BIOS if you go for something like that, but that's another thing. So, the last and final tip. Always do research on what computer you're building. Remember, these five tips will help you if you know some knowledge. But for those novice consumers out there that don't have a clue, the best 
the fifth and final tip I can give you is watch build guides on YouTube. Now, I've got my own at Welshie Tech. You can go watch them. It's not really a step-by-step, -step, but I show you what to do and how to do it. This is my kind of, my own interpretation of showing you how to build. But there's a lot out there. There's Linus Tech Tips. There's Andy Raphael from eTechnics. There's Jay's Two Cents. There's Gamers Nexus. There's Bit with Kyle, there's Paul's Hardware. There is so much information out there for you to actually research. So yeah, that's the last tip for you, is always watch before you buy. There's so much information out on YouTube. Always make sure you watch a, a bill guy so you know exactly what to do. Well, this is Richard from Welsh Tech, I hope you enjoyed this video now these are my specific five tips because if i knew these tips when i started building computers it would have helped me a lot but everyone has to learn somewhere so i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to like us don't forget to share us also don't forget to go check us out on facebook or welsh tech i've got my own personal page over there where i upload my videos as well as i upload some latest tech news as well as i interact a lot with people so this is richard from welsh tech good bye